lot of experts won't walk you through the process of starting up your credit FICO score. This is where I've allocated all of my mental effort in exactly how to start up the first 17 steps. When you read how to do your credit report, the water gets muddy in a hurry because you'll be reading about how adults split off the percentages where it's 25% on credit history, uh, payment history is 35%, how much you owe is 35%, and you'll get mixed messages such as, oh, you have to build credit owing money. These are untrue. And that's what this video is meant to do, is meant to help you blitz scale your FICO credit score and start up. CS 183 credit score is exactly the process for what you're gonna need to do to scale up, ramp up, and start up your FICO credit card credit score. Pinnacle to this process is a protocol, which is one, 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 24 ones in a row. And what a one is, is an on-time payment. And registering an on-time payment to your own social security number is fraught with details, uh, urban myths that you've got to uh, not listen to, and uh, common pitfalls that you'll fall into. So that's what CS183 credit score is meant to do, is to help you navigate the exact protocol and procedure that's very detail oriented. Your short term, mid term goal is two years of two credit cards with credit lines less than $500, both being paid on time. By being paid on time, I don't mean zero dollars charged and zero dollars paid on time. I'm talking between $15 to $40 per month paid on time twice a month. Let me repeat that. Two credit cards paid twice a month on balances of less than $40 with credit lines under $500 total. I've been in every regulatory environment from the early 90s till now. And in today's regulatory environment, the Fair Credit Reporting Act here in the United States, these are all legal methodologies in getting to a high FICO credit score. There's a subroutine under CS183 credit score. It's called hashtag 530 Litton. Litton, L's and Larry, Y, T, T, O, N. And what this is, is this is exactly what to do in case you're turned down for a credit card that's got a $300 credit line. That might happen. And the $300 credit line is important to have a plan B. And plan B is uh, texting. When I say texting, you can actually see my cell phone number live on Twitter, twitter.com slash 650-283-8008. Not gonna repeat it, it's right there for you. When you're coming up with your plan B, that's your plan B is what happens if Bank of America rejects you and says you're not even worthy for a $300 credit line. That's when you text me and I will help make some phone calls to try to get you approved. And that's your plan B for in case you get rejected because you want your name, your social security number to get credit for the small on-time payments that you're going to be making with two credit cards for two years. Abstinence is not going to work. Just not having credit and not ruining your credit is not building credit. You want to stack overflow the credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion with overly positive information that you report on yourself, about yourself, to Experian, Equifax, TransUnion. The way to do that is making small transactions and paying them off in full twice a month. First 17 steps to a FICA score is 850. These can be done even if you're poor. You just have to have a little bit of delayed gratification and then not go crazy on the $300 credit line, which hard to do. In the old days, you could go crazy on a $15,000 credit line that people like Capital One used to give first time credit card applicants, crazy. So you don't need money, you don't need to go into debt, you just need a disciplined system of adding information that gets past the filters. Remember, the credit bureaus have as a business model selling derogatory information on you. So just keep adding positive information to the credit bureaus. Experian Equifax TransUnion. Appreciate that uh, FICO follows me and 
it's, I mean, it's sort of a big deal, but I guess Barack Obama also follows me. Um, which makes Fight go, mm, whatever. But I appreciate the follow. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, if anything special. But the reason I think that FICO follows me is because it's fascinating that nobody does the initial steps required to raise your own FICO score. Nobody reads, nobody's disciplined, and people hate the details. They turn their nose up at the details. I'm in the trenches collecting details and offering customer support. You don't even have to pay me for it.